Hi, I'm Alexandra Harvishka, founder of Life with Herpes. And today I want to talk to you about the herpes cure and how we are waiting for it. All right. As you know, when you're first diagnosed with herpes, it's like Google, Google, Google. It's like the, the, the where's the vaccine? Where is there a cure? What medication can I take? How do I get rid of this awful thing? I feel like I'm cursed with the plague. All that goes through our minds. and. I did it, I think everybody has done it, where we're like, how do we get rid of this? What is going on? And of course, as we start Googling for vaccines, of course, as we start Googling for other cures, we start realizing, oh, well, you know, when's this vaccine coming out? Or where are they in the, in the research? Or how long is it gonna take? Or, you know, will there be a vaccine? Or why is it, because there's vaccine for other things, why don't we have one for herpes? Okay. Like I said, I've been there and I've looked for it and I hear about this a lot in our secret society, in our in our our chatter. You know, people are like, what's going on with the vaccine? What's going on? Where is one? And the the thing is, is I wouldn't hold your breath. Um, these things take a lot of time, it takes a lot of research, it takes a lot of technology, it takes the right people, right place, all of that. And unfortunately, we are not where we are, where we would like to be with a cure. So what, what I really want to address with you today is to not put your life on hold, not to put your dreams on hold. Don't put your dating on hold. Don't hold your breath waiting for this cure, right? Because um, at this point, there is no cure. There is no cure to herpes. It's a virus that will live in your body for the rest of your life. It's the one thing that you are guaranteed to be with you forever, which is, so you better learn to like it, right? It's gonna be with you. So what it does is it does lie dormant, so it can go into like a deep sleep and you will not recognize it. You won't have outbreaks, things like that, but it is something that you still have. Um, again, really what I wanna address here is is I have talked to many people over the years of having life with herpes. I've talked to people in our communities. I've talked to people in their 60s, in their 70s, um, and people that have missed out on experiencing life because of this virus. If you wanna go date, go date. If you wanna fall in love, fall in love. If you wanna have sex, have sex. If you wanna have children, have children. If you wanna get in the swimming pool with your kids, get in the swimming pool with your kids. You are not gonna transmit it, right? Yes, it is gonna be an uncomfortable conversation when you tell the person that you really like that you have herpes, but that's it, that's all it is. It's just an uncomfortable pimple, basically. It's just this uncomfortable thing that pops up like right before prom, you know? Like that's all it is, it's just a skin condition. So, so. Don't be waiting on this one thing, this cure, that's going to make all your problems go away. It's, it's not, even if there was a cure right now, right? Like not all of our problems go away. There's, there's still the normal things that happen in relationships, conversations that need to happen. So what I'm saying is don't hold your breath. And I like to use the comparison to taxi drivers. Now, before we had Uber and Taxis were really our only form of transportation, right? Of course, there was public transportation, and there's you know like a private personal driver, and there's always mom. <laughs> but in general, taxis were our only way of, of of transportation if we needed a quick ride to get somewhere. Well, as we fast forward to Uber, Uber is like all we know. That I mean, thank God for Uber, right? Like I've forgotten how to even call a taxi. And you have these taxi cab drivers that are annoyed, that are pissed off, their income is gone because of Uber. So the taxi cab drivers have two choices. They can become a victim to Uber and sit there and complain to the other taxi cab drivers because they're all sitting around because they don't have a job to go drive somebody, or they can join Uber or, or find something else. So that's my point here, right? Like be Uber. <laughs> you know, go, go, go think outside the box, enjoy life. Please, please, please do not let this virus hold you back from falling in love and waiting for this cure. It is, it is not, it's not worth it. All right. I mentioned the secret society. I want to talk to you about it again. It is an online community for people living with herpes. So go to lifewithherpes.com. You'll see information there about the secret society. It truly is something I wish I had 
uh, when I was diagnosed with herpes back in 2011. It has been an absolute godsend for me to even process it now at this point in my life, as well as people in the community. Um, they say they wouldn't have been able to get through this transition without it. So it is, it's a beautiful, warm, welcoming, happy, um, educated group, and, and we are here just talking about it and breaking the stigma. We also have weekly live group calls, which is also awesome. So anyways, go to lifewithherpes.com. Don't wait for a cure. Get out there, have fun. I will see you soon.